what I would say, just go ahead and just do a quick little web search for the Empower Retirement. Once you have Empower Retirement, you'll see there the first link. Just click on this link and it's gonna take you to this website. All right, so here you'll see Employer Retirement Plan. That is the one that you wanna go for. So go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and sign in. Once you sign in, it's gonna take you into this first initial page. Uh, I'm not gonna say don't worry too much about this particular page here, because this is just like a page that you could play around with as far as like uh, what you wanna do. The main thing you wanna do is since I just opened up this account, this is you know the current balance that you're gonna see on the account. But the steps that you're gonna to wanna to do is come over here first. You're gonna click on your retirement plan. Then here on your retirement plan, places that you'll want to focus on is on the left-hand side over here. You're gonna look at my contributions and my investments. These are the two main spots that you're gonna go for. So we'll click on here on my investments. And currently right now I have selected is T. Rowe Price and Vanguard Institution 500 Index. As I was looking at all the different options that they had that was currently offering, these are the ones that to me that stuck out the most as the best performers that are out there. If you want to set it up, you know, yours, if you want to change it, want to make some adjustments, you can come on here where it says change my investments. You want to go ahead and always do click on do it myself. Never click on uh, help me do it because when you do help me do it, they're just going to put you in a generic age-based retirement account that gives horrible returns, okay? So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you put it into uh, the ones that say, do it myself. Click on do it myself. And then here, it's gonna ask you, you know, what to do. Since I currently have funds into it, that's why it's giving me multiple options. But at the moment, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, click on change how my future contributions will be invested, okay? So this is how any of my future investments will be going into. This is what I'm gonna change it. If I have money invested in one account and I want to go ahead and move it on to another account, you will go ahead and click on this one right here, which says change my current balance. And from here, you can move it on to a different one as well. At the moment, let's just go over this one as the initial one, change my future contributions. And then once you're on this page here, you can go ahead and click on view all funds. So you always want to view all the funds, check out all the options that you have. And here I would say is stay away from all of these. Any of these that are these age-based ones that you're gonna see, it's gonna say uh, your retirement account for 20, 2060, 2065, 2065, whatever it is that year on here, it's gonna automatically put you in one of these. These historically have been giving horrible returns. I'll show you an example here shortly about the returns that those give. As you're looking on down, you're gonna see the other options that are you know set up onto it. All right, here we got uh, the ones that I was looking at. I went ahead and clicked on all these other ones. When you click on them, you have your page that pops up that has information you know, about the individual company. All right, if you want to see uh, what companies this particular fund is invested in, just go to the section that says portfolio. And then you're gonna go ahead and then you're going to scroll down. And if you were to pick the T. Rowe Price uh, blue chip growth, all right, you are investing into 118 different companies okay and these right here that you can see these are the top 25 companies that this one is currently invested in so right now the t roll price blue chip is investing 10 percent of the funds into amazon as you can see here 10 percent and you can see here it's also investing into alphabet which alphabet if you're not familiar with them they are the parent company of google they own google they're invested into facebook microsoft apple visa and these over here on the right hand side are the percentages of that particular funds that are on there. All right, so right now they are invested pretty heavily, these on the side. The other one that I looked at was a new one that was just recently added. This one is based off of the S&P 500. So we'll click on it. Same thing, we're gonna look at the portfolio, you know, to see which companies it is currently invested in. And we'll go ahead and scroll down. And this one is currently invested in on 507 companies, as you can see here. All right, and the 507 companies, uh, these are the top 25 out of those five. So in an earlier example, we saw that Amazon was the leader. 
And in this example, we see here that Apple is the current leader that they are investing in. So 6.22% is invested into Apple. They're invested in Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet. You see all of them over here on the left-hand side and the percentages that this particular fund, which is based off the S&P 500 is invested in. All right, now that we know, you know what these particular funds are invested in, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a quick glance on over here and understanding the numbers that are being presented to me. So this column right here shows your average one year return. So in the past 12 months, this is what this particular fund has been able to give you. In the past five years, this is the five year average. Out of all these columns, this one right here is the most important one, okay? Because this tells you in the past 10 years what this individual fund that's over in the side has been able to do. So as you can see here, you look at these numbers, for these first ones, which is these age-based retirement accounts, uh, the numbers that they've been returning has not been so well when you compare them to the other ones that are on over here, all right? So the t row price has been with Empower for a while now, so they have it at 19.99. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, saying, hey, I see here a 4.7 for this Vanguard Institutional 500, why would you pick that one? See, the thing is, it's that this particular fund was just recently added to the Empower portfolio as an option to pick from, so they don't have history, but this is, as we saw earlier, is based off the S&P 500. So in order to get a good comparison, you're gonna to have to go in and look up the S&P 500, okay? So what I did was I went ahead and I put in information of the top five options basically that were on our list on Empower. And here, as you can see, the light blue line is the Vanguard 500 index. And uh, here is showing you that uh, in the past five years, as we have on here, the five year mark selected, you're gonna see that the S&P 500 has done an average of 101% increase in the past five years. And this is the light blue line that you see on here. You see a nice steady blue line going on up. You have a little dip over here. You have a dip here for the 2020 when we ended up shutting down basically the country. We have another dip over here at the end of 2018, but that was across the market period. But besides that, that light blue line, you see it's a nice steady flow that continues straight on up. Pretty predictable. So again here, we're comparing the five-year returns for the different ones, we have the T-Roll Price blue chip that's been able to do an outstanding 154% return in the last five years. Again, as we mentioned earlier, the S&P 500 has done 101. And this one right here is the target age-based one that was selected for me that I would fall under if I were to let the system just set it up for myself. And as you can see here, it is only given a 59% return. Now, when you compare this 59% return to these other bigger numbers over here, this is what some of my coworkers would call trash, okay? And we all know that uh, trash is not good. So stay away. Again, this is another big reason for you to stay away from the age-based ones. Always select your retirement accounts. Here we have the extended market, the Vanguard extended market. It has also done uh, very well uh, at 103%. Uh, the reason I'm currently picking the S&P 500 over the Vanguard Extended Market is that the S&P 500 has given the same returns, but the returns that has been given, it has been consistent. So the dark blue line that you see here is the extended, and the light blue line that you see on here is the S&P 500. So at the end mark, they are at the same end mark. But when you compare over here, look back as time has gone by, you can see here the extended one was has maintained lower than the S&P 500, right? Only up until this moment. At this moment right here is when the extended market had a peak, all right? And this is what this one peak is what helped out the extended market maintain with the S&P 500. If it wasn't for this one peak, then the extended market would probably be about a couple percentages lower than the S&P 500. The extended market, you know, those of you that are curious about it, in extended market, they invest into uh, around 3,500 smaller companies. When the uh, S&P 500 invests into the top 500 uh, companies within the US. Okay, so real quick, so if you are enjoying this video and really wanna see more of it, do me a favor and give me a big thumbs up 
on this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click on notification bell, so that way you can be notified every single time I release a new video. And if you have any questions, by all means, feel free, ask the questions down in the comments below. I'll always do my best to respond to you within the comments section. And if I see that it'd be best to answer your question by doing a video, I'll also go ahead and do a video for you to better explain to you any question that you might have. So make sure to leave a comment below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right back to the video. All right, so here we have, uh, again, based off those numbers that we saw, we have the t row price selected because in the past, five year history, 10 year history, they've been giving consistent outstanding numbers. And you saw that the T-Row price, an example, uh, has outperformed all the other ones in the long term. The S&P 500, uh, the other reason we went for the S&P 500 is that the S&P 500 hasn't given big numbers like what the T-Row price blue chip has, but the advantage that the S&P 500 has is the S&P 500 pays dividend. So by dividend, you know, what I mean, is that you come on down over here and we'll check out, let's see, this is a, a Vanguard uh, S&P 500 VOO, which is very similar to the one that is on here. Basically, this Vanguard Institution 500 is going to replicate what the Vanguard VOO is currently doing. And if you take a look over here at this yield section, this yield is a 1.34 yield is as pain. This is dividend. This is free money that you receive for investing into the S&P 500. And the place that you see that is you'll come over here on historical data. All right, this is Yahoo Finance if you're curious. This is Yahoo Finance. We're gonna set it up. We'll look at the, the past five years. We're gonna look at dividends, uh, how the dividend has been looking within the past five years. And here we can see that dividend has been consistent uh, paying out 1.3, 1.3, 1.4, 1.1, 1.4, .1, and you've had all these. All these dividends that are on here are paid quarterly. So every three months, for every share that you have, for what you have invested, should I say, for what you have invested, you're going to get a 1.1% return added on as a bonus. Okay? This is extra money that you receive for being invested into the S&P 500. This is cash that you're getting for dividends. So again, if you have, let's say you have $10,000 invested into uh, the S&P 500, that $10,000 gained you an extra 1.3% of free money that was deposited into your account. You don't have to do anything on it. Just keep on putting your money into it. And then every three months, you're gonna have a dividend being deposited in there of extra cash. So even though the S&P 500 has not been going up the same percentage rate as what the T row price has, the dividend that it receives helps increase the amount of cash that your uh, funds will be growing uh, throughout the time, okay? Because now you have more money going into that particular account and that extra cash will help you grow up in the percentages. So once you have these two selected, you'll go ahead and click on add. And then from there, you'll go ahead and adjust your percentages to what you want. For everybody that's new setting it up, I usually say, hey, go ahead and, for example, if you're not too familiar with it, just go ahead and set up a 50-50, put your T-roll price and your Vanguard 500, 50-50, all right? So that's how you wanna set it up, leave it for a year, have this set up, keep making your deposits into it, let it grow for a year. After you've let it grow for a year, then you can go back and compare the two funds to see how they've been doing. After you've let it grow for a year, then you could decide if you want to go heavier on the t row price blue chip because it's giving you a higher percentage or if, or if you want to go ahead and go higher on the S&P 500 because it's giving you a steady increase plus the dividend. So after you've reached your year, I would just go ahead and say, you could adjust it on here. You know, if you wanna make one at a 60%, let's say you wanna go 60% blue chip, or if you wanna go 40% blue chip, 60% on the other, I mean, you could just select on here, you know, on, on which one you want. 50-50 when first setting it up, and then after you've had it for a year, then now that you've been able to compare them both, you can go ahead and make your adjustment afterwards as far as to which one you want, you know, set up, All right? So here we're having it at 50-50, it's 100% of it. We'll just go ahead and click Submit. 
And then if you already had it previously set up, which this was an example that I had, it'll show you what your previous contribution was and what it's currently gonna go to. It's gonna go to uh, the 50-50, all my future contributions, and then a confirmation that you'll receive. So you go back to my investments and here it shows you your current one. And there you can click on future and it'll show you what your future ones are going to be. You're gonna have 50-50 and it's an even split that is gonna be showing you on there, all right? As they grow, you could just you know watch them on here by doing uh, the performances after you've let it grow for a year. It'll give you your one year performance where it compares both of them, okay? You can see them on there, and then as they continue growing after five years, you'll see the percentages, and after 10 years, you'll see both percentages as well. If you wanna visit my channel, you can click here on my picture to check out some of my other videos or you can click on my recommended videos that I have over here. And remember, always stay positive. Together, we can do this.